Brazil is synonymous with lively rhythms of samba, colorful carnival, lush jungles, and long stretches of sandy beaches. Here you can dive into the otherworldly landscapes, incredible wildlife, and unique culture easily. This is a photograph of a, a beautiful little fossil from the Cretaceous of Brazil. But being the largest country in South America and the fifth largest country in the world, you just know there's gotta be more to it. A little mystery, perhaps? You have no idea. From emperor hearts to mega snakes to jellyfish UFOs and so much more, prepare yourself. 15 unsettling discoveries in Brazil that nobody can explain. <laughs> Number 15. Emperor Heart Dom Pedro I, nicknamed the Liberator, was the founder and first ruler of the Empire of Brazil, who ruled from 1822 until 1831. And yes, this is his heart. The king's heart was transported from Portugal, where it was been preserving since 1835, across the ocean to Brazil. The organ rejoined the monarch's body in Sao Paulo, where it's rested since 1972, when Portugal presented it to commemorate the anniversary of Brazil's independence. Dom Pedro was born in 1798 into Portugal's royal family, which at the time also ruled over Brazil. The family fled to the then Portuguese colony to evade Napoleon's invading army. When Dom Pedro's father, King John VI, returned to Portugal in 1821, he left Dom Pedro to rule Brazil. A year later, the young ruler defied the Portuguese parliament, and on September 7, 1822, he issued Brazil's Declaration of Independence and was crowned emperor soon after. Back to his heart. Portuguese officials gave the go-ahead for the preserved organ to be moved from the city of Porto for the celebrations of Brazil's bicentenary. The heart, preserved in a flask filled with formaldehyde, was flown on board a military plane from Portugal. It was received with military honors before going on public display at the foreign ministry. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. We can totally see why what scientists found in Brazil has left people speechless. It's terrifying but fascinating at the same time. When you see an image like this, looking unlike any fossilized skeleton we've ever seen, it can be a bit of a shock. Notice the bulbous cranium, the distinctive spiked features, the creepy rows of tiny teeth. This mystery creature probably confused whoever found it. As far as we know, nothing like this has ever existed on Earth. Wouldn't be a stretch to imagine it. Another unsettling mummified skeleton discovered in nearby Chile's Atacama Desert over 15 years ago didn't look human. Some would say it looked, well, alien. It too was a skeletal conundrum made up of perplexing features just like this. So maybe Brazil is a hot spot for this kind of thing. We'd love to find out more, wouldn't you? Leave your thoughts below in the comments and don't forget to use the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Mega Snakes. The anaconda is the biggest snake in the world and can exceed 30 feet long and weigh more than 500 pounds. And yes, they live in Brazil. The green anaconda is a constrictor snake endemic to the tropical rivers of South America. Of all the snakes, this is which has the highest weight and perhaps is the largest known snake to have ever existed. A gigantic 33-foot-long anaconda was found by terrified builders on a construction site here too. So, if you ever find yourself in anaconda country, it's probably a good idea to be able to identify them. Typically, they're dark green in color with oval black spots. The tail shows yellow and black designs that are unique to each one. The body is broad and muscular, adapted to kill its prey by constriction. The powerful muscles of the anaconda make it a skillful swimmer. The anaconda chooses the camouflage found on the banks of streams, wrapped around tree trunks, and on beaches to sunbathe or relax. Most of the time, these snakes stay submerged to stalk their prey. They usually hunt animals that come to the water to drink. The snake will trap them with its jaws and simultaneously wrap itself around its body. With its immense constrictive force, it can kill prey in 10 seconds. Number 13. Bermuda Triangle of Space Officially called the South Atlantic Anomaly, or SAA, the Earth's magnetic field over South America and the Southern Atlantic Ocean has a weak spot. Our planet's magnetic field acts like a protective shield around the planet, repelling and trapping charged particles from the sun. But this weak spot allows these particles to dip closer to the surface than normal. 
which can knock out onboard computers and interfere with the data collection of satellites that pass through it. A key reason why NASA scientists want to track and study the anomaly, it's often been referred to as the Bermuda Triangle of space. A host of scientists in geomagnetic, geophysics, and heliophysics research groups observe and model the SAA to monitor and predict future changes and help prepare for future challenges to satellites and humans in space. Currently, the SAA creates no visible impacts on daily life on the surface. However, recent observations and forecasts show that the region is expanding westward and continuing to weaken in intensity. It's also splitting. Recent data shows the anomaly's valley, or region of minimum field strength, has split into two lobes, creating additional challenges for satellite missions. Number 12. Roswell of Brazil the Varginha UFO incident involves a series of events in 1996 when various citizens of Brazil reported seeing one or more strange creatures and at least one UFO. Stories in the media claim that one or more extraterrestrial beings were even captured by the Brazilian military. But the Brazilian government denied conspiracy theorists' claims that it was hiding evidence of extraterrestrials. According to media reports, a creature was first sighted by three women. They allegedly saw the creature that stood about five feet tall with a large head and very thin body, with V-shaped feet, brown skin, and large red eyes. Soon, rumors began to spread regarding UFO sightings and alien creatures being abducted by the military forces. Two days later, another creature was allegedly found lying along a road. Three military trucks were supposedly sent to retrieve it. A farming family reportedly saw a UFO hovering over their cattle. It supposedly hovered over the field for 40 minutes, and the following year, more eyewitnesses approached the media with reports of cigar-shaped spacecraft. That's why the town of Virginia is known as the Brazilian version of the famous American UFO hotspot, Roswell, New Mexico. Number 11. Abandoned House Scorpion Nest Some 2.5 billion people worldwide, from Mexico to Russia, live with scorpions, which generally prefer hot and dry habitats. But this infestation is an abandoned house in Brazil, and it's like something out of nightmares. There are scorpions everywhere. Four dangerous species of scorpion are found in Brazil, but the yellow scorpion has proved particularly deadly, having adapting from its traditional savanna habitat to survive in sewers, garbage, and rubble in urban areas. The thing is, scorpions are an incredibly adaptable species. As the weather in Brazil gets hotter due to climate change, scorpions are spreading across the country including into its colder southern states that rarely, if ever, had reports of scorpions prior to this millennium. Plus, Brazil's cities provide an excellent habitat for scorpions, experts say. They offer shelter and sewage networks, plenty of water and food in the garbage that goes uncollected, and no natural predators. In Americana, a city with about 200,000 inhabitants in Sao Paulo state, teams that perform night searches for scorpions captured more than 13,000. That's the equivalent of one scorpion for every 15 people. The number of people stung by scorpions across Brazil has risen from 12,000 to 2,000 to 140,000 recently. Number 10. Snake with Legs Ever since a crafty serpent in the Bible allegedly tempted Eve into eating the forbidden fruit, we've been fascinated by snakes, but we have a poor understanding of how they actually evolved. But recently, scientists have now released a new study on the fossil of a snake that had legs. Tetrapodophis, Greek meaning four-footed snake, is an extinct serpent from about 120 million years ago. Located in modern-day Brazil, this four-legged animal was around 12 inches long. This new fossil has four intact limbs and a super-elongated body, similar to modern snakes. So what's up with this video of a snake with four tiny legs? It's supposed to be extinct. While snakes are thought to be a single evolutionary group, sharing a common ancestor, the evolution of limblessness is actually quite a common feature of their evolution. In the case of snakes, some fossils are known that document one part of this transition, showing that earlier in their evolution, some snakes had hind limbs. This has also led to suggestions that snakes evolved from animals in the oceans. This fossil suggests that this body structure would work for burrowing rather than swimming that's one reason why the fossil was so important. It implies that snakes evolved on land rather than in the sea. Number 9. Mystery Creature Somewhere in Brazil, this strange creature was found dead by the side of the road. 
Problem is, nobody seems to know what it is. And for very obvious reasons, it caused some concerns for the Brazilians that captured this video. So they posted it online in hopes that the good people of the internet might be able to shed some light on the mystery creature. And despite people's best efforts, the creature remains that way. A total mystery. But the most common conclusion is that it's a baby cow that was born with congenital malformations. Diagnosing the cause of these types of births in cattle is challenging for vets. A large number of not yet reported syndromes exist. Fetal infection is associated with a range of congenital malformations in calves that it could make for a logical explanations as to how a creature like this came to be. Bovine congenital malformations, or BCMs, usually occur sporadically, although some cattle herds may experience an increased number of cases over time. Farmers may in such situations seek veterinary advice regarding the cause. Hopefully, if that's the case, the little calf that couldn't lived a pain-free life and died peacefully. Number 8. World's Oldest Person Brazilian officials believe they may have stumbled upon the oldest living person in the world after doctors treated a 120-year-old woman at her home. The shocking discovery was made when a mobile medical team was dispatched to the residence of Maria Gomes. She actually was born June 16, 1900, in the village of Bella Vista, according to her birth certificate. Incredibly, she's still residing in her tiny hometown, according to Brazilian News. The 121-year-old would have to be confirmed by Guinness World Record as the oldest living person in the world. Currently, a French nun is officially the oldest person in the world at 119. All of her children have died, and she now lives with her granddaughter who says her grandmother was pretty active until eight years ago when she was preparing meals, doing laundry, and attending mass. Her life now revolves around taking care of grandma. Her great-granddaughters also take turns in helping out. Apparently, Maria is still aware of many things, but sometimes she forgets who she is. But hey, she is 121 years old after all. In total, Maria has 13 great-grandchildren and six great-great-grandchildren, and she may well be around to see the family expand to a fifth generation with the upcoming birth of a child. Number 7. Jellyfish UFO Check out this strange footage from Brazil showing a mysterious, unidentified flying object that bears a striking resemblance to a jellyfish. What's up with that? The bizarre phenomenon was reported across the city of Sao Paulo, and footage of the unusual incident went totally viral. According to the clip's description, the incident happened at around 8.45 a.m. The footage, which is less than two minutes long, shows a white object flying close to thin clouds in the sky. Close-up shots of the object you can see has a dome-shaped body with tail-like features hanging from its sides. One person commented online, In the video, we see the tentacles, yet they don't move, he stated. Had this been a balloon, the tentacles would be plastic and blowing in the opposite direction the wind is. However, the long objects just hang there. That means not a balloon. Another person had something to say about it too, saying, This is the best recording of a jellyfish UFO in existence. This is incredible proof that not only are we being visited by aliens, but the tech they use mimics living creatures. Are you convinced? After thousands of people reported seeing it, videos and posts began disappearing from social media, sparking suspicion of a cover-up. Number 6. Giant Ant Eaters It's amazing how something so big gets that way by eating something so little. Giant ant eaters feed almost exclusively on ants and termites whose nests they rip open with their powerful forelimbs and claws and then ingest with their sticky tongue. They have a long, distinctive snout with a two-foot-long tongue and no teeth. These ant eaters are distinctively patterned in various shades of brown with wide black stripes that run from their upper front legs toward their spine. Their front legs are white and they have a bushy tail. They have no undercoats to provide warmth Instead, they have bristly short hair on their shoulders and longer hair on their legs and tail, which resembles the texture of a horse's mane. Giant ant eaters protect their sharp front claws by tucking them into their palms and walking on their front knuckles. Their back feet and claws are more similar to bears. They only knuckle walk with their front feet. They walk in a slow, shuffling gait, but when necessary can gallop at over 30 miles an hour. They can also climb and swim. Giant ant eaters reach up to 8 feet in length, including both nose and tail. They weigh between 60 and 100 pounds. Number 5. Fish Bandages Animal skin has long been used in the treatment of burns in some countries for years. 
but Brazil lacks some of the animal alternatives that are widely available for treatment. So lately, burns are being covered in fish skin in clinical trials. Doctors here are testing the skin of fish as a bandage for second and third degree burns. They're using tilapia fish, widely farmed in Brazil and whose skin, until recently, was considered useless. So, researchers were quite shocked to discover the amount of collagen proteins, which are very important for scarring, existing in large quantities in tilapia skin, even more than in human skin and other skins. The tilapia treatment also cuts down healing time and reduces the use of pain medication. So, if clinical trials show continued success, doctors hope to make it available everywhere. In patients with superficial secondary degree burns, the doctors apply the fish skin and leave it until the patient scars naturally. For deep second degree burns, the tilapia bandages must be changed a few times over several weeks of treatment, but still far less than any other method. And since tilapia fish are widely farmed all over the world, this kind of treatment could benefit so many people. Number 4. Vertical Cemetery Between tall buildings and lush forests in Santos, Brazil is the tallest vertical cemetery in the world, a distinction celebrated in the Guinness Book of World Records. The remains of about 100 billion dead people at this very moment rest in cemeteries around the world, all of which are currently buried or otherwise stored somewhere, somehow. So it's no wonder we're running out of space for final resting places. So a vertical cemetery like this makes a lot of sense. Inside, it's just rows on rows, floor after floor of memorial space. Founded in 1983, the 14-floor cemetery looks more like an apartment building for the living than a home for the newly dead, and people pay big money for these tombs with a view. There are crypts, rooms to hold services, a crematorium, and a mausoleum for families who want to preserve their legacy in a more personal and private way. There's even a tropical garden complete with a waterfall and a small rooftop cafe to take in the view not too shabby. While some cemeteries around the world can be considered tourist attractions in their own right, this towering cemetery is actually one of the most visited landmarks in Santos. People from all over the world come to see this fancy necropolis. Number 3. Radioactive Beach Brazil is a country that's famous for its blue sea and white sand, along with a coastline stretching hundreds of miles that attract tourists from all over the world. Yet there's no beach quite like this. Aria Preta Beach is famous for a pretty scary reason, radiation nearly 400 times higher than normal standards. Studies suggest that the dose of gamma radiation is equivalent to about one square mile of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. The sand in this area, especially the black sand, contains a lot of monazite, a phosphate-rich mineral, and a number of rare earth elements including uranium and thorium. Scientists think that ocean waves are constantly pounding the coastal mountains rich in monazite, and some radioactive compounds have washed ashore as black sand. In 1972, the application of monazite sand in the field of treatment was first introduced. At the time, a therapy called radioactive sand was claimed could treat many health problems, including rheumatism. As a result, to this day, Thousands of tourists still flock to these particular beaches, hoping to heal themselves by lying or even covering themselves with radioactive sand, ignoring the danger of prolonged exposure to radiation. Number 2. Brazil's Batman Criminals in Brazil don't just have to watch out for the cops, now they need to check over their shoulders for Batman too. Brazilian authorities have actually hired a former soldier who dresses up as the ultimate caped crusader to patrol the streets of the most crime-ridden neighborhoods. The inspiration for his new role appears to be as much inspired by his fondness for dressing as Batman for children's parties than a hatred of crime. Things have gotten so bad that the cops hope their caped co-worker can help to combat crimes such as murder and drug trafficking, which have increased here in Brazil's version of Gotham City. There's no word on just what the crime fighter will be allowed to do or how many wonderful toys, as the Joker once called them, he can use to keep criminals in their place. However, it's doubtful that officials will install a bat signal to shine in the night sky when officials need him for duty. It remains to be seen just how this Brazilian Batman will affect crime levels in Brazil. But this real-life superhero's duties are actually to be a conduit between the community and real police. Batman does a good job of protecting Gotham City in the comics, so why can't he do the job in real life? Number 1. Ancient Sloth Poop Giant ground sloths once roamed the Americas and are kin to the much smaller tree sloths that are around today. The biggest ground sloth reached about 10 feet in height and would have towered above a human. 
These massive herbivores first appeared in South America about 35 million years ago and died out along with most other big ice age mammals. So finding a big fossilized sloth turd is quite a find for scientists. It can shed light on their diets, their behavior, and even how they died. Scientists discovered the bones of ground sloths recently in Brazil. Researchers identified 575 bones representing 22 ground sloth adults and juveniles, dating to around 1,800 to 23,000 years ago. Surrounding the bones? Poop. So, what killed all these sloths? One likely explanation is that they wallow together in a watering hole as do modern-day large herbivores, such as wildebeest and hippos, to escape heat and insects. But their relief took a deadly turn after the animals fouled the marsh with their feces they would have later eaten contaminated plants and drunk polluted water, leading to their deaths from pathogens lurking in those feces. More recently, hippos have died in mass in marshy locations dirtied by enormous quantities of their poo, scientists said. Okay, we can relax. Our list of unsettling discoveries in Brazil has come to an end. For now, thank goodness this rich, vast country keeps on delivering when it comes to new findings. That means there could be more great Brazil videos on the way.